Right, that was our bike just passed me there as I was sitting to the side of the road and gave me a thumbs up and a, and a questioning type of way because I was sitting at the side of the road here. But we're fine. Where I am is just along the road from the Port of Tyne. If you check my 500 miles on the W650 in one day, this was one of the places I visited. So, I think check-in is now open. I was here earlier, but I was too early. I've just put my helmet on to record because the microphone's on it. Even though I didn't book a four bed sea view cabin, it was just a two bed inboard one without a sea view. But I've actually got a sea view. I guess they're short of passengers on this particular trip. It might not be so lucky in the way back. This is weird going this way around the roundabout. We're on the wrong side of the road. quite a long conversation there with a German guy that came up to speak to me. Um, it turns out he was a Jehovah's Witness and instead of going round knocking at people's doors or ringing their doorbells, he comes to these laybys on the autobahn, him and his wife were here, he comes to these laybys on the autobahn and speaks to people who are pulled in to stop. 
he was a nice enough guy. He didn't, uh, he wasn't pushy or anything. I told them about the Jehovah's Witnesses that come and visit me fairly regularly. And have a big chat with them. Told them I knew about the Purple Triangle and things like that. So they seemed to quite appreciate that. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but there you go. I say, he was a nice enough guy. Had a big chat with him. He speaks good English. He was saying his, when he was at school, his father said to him, you must learn English. Very important that you learn English. It's spoken by so many people in so many parts of the world. Not so good. This is what I was worried about because this is an air cool bike. I don't think I'm allowed to filter through the traffic unless it's stationary. It clears up here according to the sat nav thing. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty sick of this wind noise, so...
Oh, they missed that. Come see. It's hot. Beautiful hot. Pipes. Okay, what's all that? Keep it down to you. Nice of them. Oh, it's okay? Yeah. Oh, no, you don't speak German. No. Sorry, I speak Well I've already been to my hotel and checked in and dropped off my luggage I just came out again for a look about and to nip up to the, there's a, like a retail estate just up the road a bit. So I went to some Lidl and got some supplies and things and then topped the bike up with petrol. And as you probably heard, there was a, a little boy fascinated with the motorbike. So his mother brought him over and we sat him on the bike and she took a photo of him sitting on the bike. So hopefully she'll keep the photo in years to come. When he's bigger, she'll be able to show it to him. He may or may not remember the day he sat on the motorbike. So that's the end of the first part, that's from Newcastle, or the Port of Tyne, near Newcastle, overnight on the ferry to the Netherlands, then out of the Netherlands and into Germany, and we're now here at Eichenstel, if that's how you pronounce it. So I'm going to get up to my room, I'll get a shower, and I'll hopefully get a good night's sleep. And we shall continue, or I shall continue, on my way tomorrow, which will be the next video. So thank you very much for watching if you made it this far, and hopefully see you in the next one.